In this problem, we have a universal set and three sets, A, B, and C. And before we get started on drawing these out, what we're going to do is analyze these elements for a minute. And we're going to see what's in common. So first of all, the set U is the numbers 1 through 13, including 1 and 13. So the set A, we're going to compare A and B. What do A and B have in common? They both have a 4. They both have an 8 and they both have an 11. Now the set A and uh, B and C, they both have a four, they both have an eight, and they both have a 10. The sets A and C, what do they have in common? Uh, my sets, they both have a four, they both have an eight, uh, but they don't have anything in common that's not in B. Your A and C sets may have something in common. Uh, mine have nothing in common, that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a Venn diagram like this, A, B, C, but what we're gonna do is create the inside part first. And I'm gonna create the way inside part first. And that's gonna appear, it's gonna look kind of like a triangle, like this. And that's in common to all A, B, and C, which is the numbers four and eight. Now moving away from that, A and B have 11 in common. So in our Venn diagram, we just did the innermost part. Now what we're gonna do is the upper part, A and B. So between A and B, they have in common 11. Now we're gonna do A and C, which is this part. A and C have nothing in common, so we're gonna leave that blank. Now we're gonna do C and B. C and B, what do they have in common? They have a 10. Okay, now we're gonna draw the rest of these circles out. There's not that many elements. Our circles don't need to be that big. And we have A, B, C. All right, so the elements in A that are not in B or C are three and nine. So we have a three and a nine. Between, uh, B's got nothing else in there, so there's nothing else inside B. So that's just gonna be blank. Now C has a few elements, one, five, and 13. One, five, and 13, and seven. All right, skip that one. One, five, seven. All right, so the reason I knew that is because I circled the numbers and I just looked over here and seven was not circled. Now it's circled, so it's accounted for. Okay, we're ready to write out the universal set. So we're gonna put a box around all of these and then everything left over is gonna be in U. So U is the numbers one through 13. So let's go ahead through. I already have a one. Uh, I don't have a two. Now I do, three is already in A, four we have, five we have, there's no six. So we just took care of the six, there is a seven, there's an eight, there's a nine, there's a 10, there is an 11, there's no 12, there is a 13. Okay. We've accounted for every element, every number is uh, in our diagram, and every number should appear once. If you have another number, like another 13 up here, something went wrong, because if you had 13 in B and C, it should be in the intersection right there. So every number should appear exactly once in this Venn diagram. Okay, so part one is B complement, union, nothing, union the empty set, and Unioning with the empty set does nothing. It's adding in no new elements. So all we want is B complement. 
So what I'm going to do is circle B or highlight the B set right here. We don't want anything from B. So we want everything not in B. And that inside B is 4, 8, 10, and 11. So we want every number that's not 4, 8, 10, and 11. So it's, again, I'm thinking about 1 through 13 in U. So if we don't want 4, 8, 10, and 11, 1, 2, 3, skip 4, 5, 6, 7, skip 8, 9, skip 10, skip 11, 12, 13. All right, so that's every number that's not in the B set. Now we can cross, we can get rid of this. All right, so now we're going to list the elements in B intersect C. So common to B and C. So this actually is pretty fast once you have a Venn diagram. B and C. It's that shape right there. So we have 4, 8, and 10. That's it. So they need to be in B and C. Now you can do this without, a, some of these you can do without a Venn diagram. B intersect C, you can just look and see what's in common to B and C when they're written as elements. But if there's three sets involved, you really want a Venn diagram that will help out a lot. All right, so the next we have C complement union B. So C complement, here's C right here. We want the complement, so that means throw away everything inside C, but we also want to union with B. So normally that crosses all these out. So don't use those. However, we're going to, uh, we want everything outside of C. Union with what's in B. Now, that's a little bit tricky because there's a lot of things not in C, but four, eight, and 10 are in C. So normally we would throw those away. However, we're unioning with B. So we're actually going to include four, eight, and 10 because they're inside B. So the only numbers we're throwing away are 1, 5, 7, and 13, the ones I crossed out in orange. So it's every number that's not 1, 5, 7, and 13. So it's 2, 3, 4, skip 5, 6, skip 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and skip 13. Okay. So let's get rid of these for the next part. So this is the last part. We want to intersect B and C. So it's the same part we've been highlighting before. So that's B intersect C and then intersect A complement. So we want everything not inside A. So there's A. And we want to intersect with A complement, meaning throw away everything inside A. So what's left, there's only the number 10 left, because 10 is in, is in B and C. It's also not in A. So 10 is the only thing left. All right, that's it.